Okay, um, episode two. Um, this is gonna be a harder one because these are a lot. These are three champions that I actually think are really well balanced. So changing them is gonna result in a lot of problems, which is why I was thinking of just skipping these and getting to the better ones. But I want every champion to be every champion. So yeah, these are a lot of problems. Like for for Anna, my main problem is how she has a lot of useless parts in her kit that feels unnecessary if or unneeded no not unneeded more like not rewarding enough for example her strike passive complete i'm not gonna say complete trash because i don't want to say complete trash but yeah it's complete trash it's this this is bad so honestly i'd like anna to have a bit better <laughs> overall um, I, the problem is I like her, and a lot of what I'm gonna say are buffs overall, which means that she's gonna be overpowered, and that's not really what I want, so honestly, really, just stay the same, I don't wanna change too much, but this is an ideal world, right, we're talking ideal world, these are not actual changes, I don't know, cause I don't wanna, <laughs> but... Right, in an ideal world, if they can balance this stuff out, I would like for her to be more rewarding, especially her passive. So what I thought is, instead of, um, right now it deals damage, stacks up to five times. Uh, this is not good. The only way this could work is if it deals a lot of damage, so like Stukov. Uh, the reason Stukov is picked so often in a competitive play is the damage he can actually deal is insane, plus he's a... Man, he's a CC machine, and he works really well with a lot of team compositions. Uh, so even though he actually doesn't have much in his kit when it comes to utility, healing, or anything that a normal healer would bring, just the CC is enough to really make him viable. Um, but that's not Ana to me. In my opinion, that's not what Ana should be like. So, I think the passive could uh, be utility based. So, let's say uh, uh, if she stacks 5 uh, stacks on a champion, then they have reduced damage. Or uh, they are slowed. I think this doesn't slow right now. Yeah, this could slow, making like hitting E easier or something like that. Or make them have reduced armor or something like that. Oh, uh, now, it, to counterbalance that, I'd like for the W to not be 100%. This, it, this probably happened to every support player out there in the world. You play Rhaegar, and you're about to land the perfect ancestral healing, and this Ana comes in from the other side of the map, throws a grenade, and boom, you're done. This is a, what, 16 seconds cooldown. This is 16 seconds cooldown to pretty much completely negate everything Rhaegar wants to do. This this is not fair at all. And I get it, counterplay is something that I like, so this should be really high number, like 70%, even 80%, 100% is way too much. This is not fun to play against. Uh, so yeah, make this like 80 or 70%, then this makes them take more damage, like have reduced armor or something. So it's actually rewarding to stack uh, 5 strike on champions uh, and this is still would be pretty bad but with talents that help her stack then this is not as bad uh, so yeah this this definitely needs to be changed what I thought could be kind of cool because I do like the idea of this talent it is one of the most fun talents to play with but it's so not rewarding at all <laughs> but yeah I think everyone loves the stacking uh, talent so I mean instead of uh, increase the healing on her strike. Oh yeah, the, the healing part should probably be removed. Maybe. Actually, it does help her sustain herself, so maybe keep the heal. Yeah. But yeah, this definitely needs to be changed. Um, what I'd like this to do in, um, is to give her Q increased healing, maybe? Um... This might be a bit too overpowered, so they do need to, like, rethink the way this works. 
Uh, level 4. Yeah, these are all really good talents. That's the problem. This one is a, is a trash talent. This is really bad. This definitely needs to be changed. Um, 8% max health damage is pretty nice. But if they if you really want to give Ana max health damage, make it a level 16 talent and actually give it a good max health damage. So maybe instead of the sleeping guard causing the max health damage, the shrike causes the max health damage. That's a way to balance this talent. Uh, for the most part, this is also pretty trash. Uh, decreased spell power, that's kind of what I said for the base. Because I do think that's something that should be in base, but it should be only once she stacks it fully. And the problem is you have to like choose between this and the far superior this talent, which is just far superior. This one's the one that reduces the cooldown, yeah. Still a bit 25. That definitely needs to be increased. 25 is nothing. Once again, maybe this could uh, make the passive slow, right? So the passive slows and then this decreases the cooldown if she hits a champion or maybe opposite maybe she misses maybe that's like a two second reduced cooldown but then if she misses then it decreases by an additional uh i don't know i like much more that it, something be rewarding than not so i do like the idea that if she hits then it decreases the cooldown even more so then she has slow then plus so you just move the parts of this talent that don't make any sense right just to make it a little more good um this is already good i think then uh maybe this could be like a a quest right uh, um and once you complete it it makes it so the width of the e is slightly bigger because right now it's one of the smallest skill shots in the game and even though it's super it's not even that rewarding hitting it it's it's like it feels good because oh my god i hit it but it's not as rewarding so honestly yeah maybe make the width increase with the talent and then like level 13 add a talent to the also give something else like maybe it silences right so hitting e like also silences uh it, this this definitely needs to be removed this is one of the worst talents in the game never take this never ever take this i have played so many games of ana and i'm i made the mistake a couple of times because I thought, oh yeah, more movement speed, that means my allies can run away. No, then you cannot hit your second Q, it's impossible. This is such a trap, because if they have higher movement speed, then good luck hitting them. This is, this is not good, this is really not good. If you want to make this work, then make it an active, like the uh, debilitating darts. Make it an active, then she shoot. then like, she activates it, she shoots the Q, and then like, it gives them a massive movement speed boost. Because having like every key does this is a massive trap, but having like something that does give movement speed is pretty neat. So like being able to save allies with like a boost of movement speed is really cool, but this is definitely not. Uh, yeah, you should probably be like a different talent. Like I do like the idea of this being a level seven talent instead. Uh, like maybe instead of this. Because I do want a more, like, Q build focus. Because I don't really like the W build. If I want to go healing. It's it's okay. It's, like, a very good healing build. But you'll see that it's kind of fallen off meta. I do, do like it, the, using Q way better. It's more much more rewarding. And I feel like it's much more intuitive with the character. So I do like the idea of giving her, like, a very distinct the Q build. So, uh, like, it starts with, uh, Vampire Grounds, right? Or, that definitely should be changed. Um, maybe, like, moving this debilitating darts to, like, level 16. Now, yeah, because the debilitating darts already what I want the passive to be. So, yeah, this should probably be removed. Yeah, I do like the idea of this being removed and, like, moving, uh, Sharpshooter to maybe level 4. Um, uh, 
but yeah, the numbers do need to be changed a bit. Sorry, I was just reading it fully. Uh, um, yeah, I do want like sharpshooter to be like maybe level seven, maybe level seven or something, right? And uh, well, this one is already pretty good. It's not good enough, in my opinion. I think it could be better. But. Um, then active reload is also really good, All right? So you just move a little bit of the talents around. I already think that she's a good champion, so just shifting power a bit, moving talents around, just to make her a little more fun and intuitive. That's pretty much it. When it comes to balancing, she's already really good. Uh, another thing I'd like is for instead of Eye of Horus, she goes into this state where she's like she cannot move. This is really bad, and this killed me way too many times. Uh, what if instead, this was like it like you always have it active, right? You always have it, and you can use it anytime you want. And maybe it has like a small animation, right? Just to make it a little bit more balanced, instead of like her being able to just throw a global ult every uh, like all the time without having any repercussions. Maybe it's not global anymore, but right and. So she, she could just like throw this any time or something. Maybe also like Hanzo's ult, maybe it increases in range, so it's much more rewarding to like uh, hit this like from different part of the map. That could be kind of cool. Um, and then like obviously uh, when she uses it, she loses one of those stacks. So right now I think it stacks up to 10 times. Uh, six, sorry, not 10, up to six, so. She uses it and has to like regenerate. Maybe it's like twenty seconds per dart, right? She so can just stack it up to six times. So if she wanted to, she could just fire six shots. Maybe not instantly, but this should be like a duration in between. So this is this is much more like a not something she just wants to throw out. Right now, what you do is you go up to like the side of a team fight and just spam this out. Or if someone gets caught off position, then you just spam it all out and that's gonna end that's the only use for this uh, so this is like much more something you have like always there and you just want to use it whenever like an opportunity presents itself not something you just want to throw in team fights right that could be kind of cool uh, comes to end when he recently got a rework but I really don't like it I thought they removed a lot of the uh, multiple build styles right now like his build is very weird right as you can see this is like a pro build um level 16 honestly a lot of these are good probably glyph of faith though is the best or inner focus depends on what you're looking for uh, the level 20 the old upgrade Yeah, so, um, what I would do, once again, um, I, the problem is I really like Anduin right now, so I don't really want to change it. Once again, as I said, I think he is very balanced and changing. A lot of these would probably result in that balance being a little off. Um, he used to have this, uh, like, um, a I don't want him to be like a bit more, once again, intuitive. I do want him to have, a, to be a bit more rewarding. Right now he has the passive that heals people. Where is it? Yeah, if he hits an, an ally with basic attack. I'd like this to be a little more focused on. What if instead of every auto attack healing a champion, um, every like 10 seconds, he gets like an empowered auto attack, just like Kel'Thuzad gets with his level seven talent. And then like hitting that, gives like an instant heal to one of your like lowest health allies or something like that right they could still keep the this is like the same maybe this could be a talent right so it can be a level four talent instead of this trash huh additional auto attack that is kind of cool i do like this idea maybe this could be like a higher level talent and change the way it works a bit so, like maybe level four talent, like hitting a basic attack, 
So like it gets like an empowered auto attack every ten seconds or so, and then like hitting it, it gives a massive heal to like one of your allies. This is gonna be kind of cool, right? Um, and then like this could go to like a level thirteen talent or so, or maybe level level thirteen is like more ruby speed basic. Hmm. Yeah, maybe instead of this, I don't, I don't really like this talent. I don't think it's that good. Yeah, this is really bad because they have to stand near you, and this is not enough for it to be worth it. Uh, a lot of times you see that like talents and abilities that forces everyone in a small choke point is not very good. So maybe like instead of this talent. Uh, get like a version of this so like hitting your E would launch an additional couple of auto attacks very fast at enemies so that could be kind of cool and maybe it also like increases the duration instead of it being a level 20 talent right so right now this is a level 20 talent I think this should be a level 16 talent so it's like you're kind of combining this talent and this talent uh, I'd also like them to bring back the talent that used to be for this guy, level 1. Where hitting an auto attack causes your next Q to heal more. I thought that was kind of cool. Uh, once again, this could be like a level 7 or level 4 talent. And yeah, I also want them to play a bit more with like the auto attack build because right now it's really bad. Other than that, he's already a good champion, so I really don't think there's much needed to change for him. Even though I would like it to be a little more fun with his talents, they're very dry right now. I don't think any of them is really that interesting. Um, maybe instead of spell power, this could make it like shoot faster. So the quest is like... Uh, hit like 10 champions like with hitting like two champions with the E 10 times or maybe even like five times and this increases the um, move speed of the E then like maybe five more times increases the spell power right it doesn't have to be like 10 spell power that is kind of it's not bad for the talent anyway so something like that right Uh, just that's pretty much all that I got with this guy and Dubarak is one of my, the most interesting campus in my opinion because he is a tank that doesn't really play like a tank if you see like a Nubarak usually played he's a very combo heavy player right usually you play him in like a combo team he jumps in gives the CC combo then your team follows up and bursts someone out because when it comes to like long fights he just kind of sucks uh, once again, I don't really know how to change that that much without making him overpowered. The only real change I'd like is for Locust to be a little more good, because right now it's just not, doesn't even compare to Cocoon. Almost never. Um... Uh, I'm, yeah, the thing is I really don't know how to change that. Maybe the passive of this makes it so instead of spawning beetles, you spawn locusts, which also like leech for you and stuff. I really don't know how to change this to be more rewarding or good or fun. Because it's not even that fun. That's the problem. It's just Cocoon is far superior. And I don't want to nerf Cocoon because it's really good. Mm -hmm. I, I really don't know about this guy. I just. This is like the hardest one. I really want to think this one over and give like a concrete chain list for this. For him. So whenever I have like time, I'll do that. I'm already working on an Alarak one. Like a concrete Alarak mini rework. But it's not finished yet. I want to do this. Not, not actually give him a rework, but like give him concrete changes that are that I think would make him balanced. Maybe I'll look around for inspiration in the 
Reddit, not Reddit, sorry, in the forum. So, so instead of doing Anubarak, let's do Artanis, because I really like Artanis. He's one of my most favorite champions, but he's so... I don't want to say bad, but yeah, kind of bad. Um, in my opinion, uh, okay, he has a lot of problems, honestly, that I just don't know if I can relatively fix. He's a very bruiser-heavy champion that is way too squishy and very skirmish-like, and I just don't think his design overall fits the uh, Heroes of the Storm too much. He begs to have like a little more life steal into him and like more shield uh, talents into him but this is another one of those champions I really want to make like a concrete mini rework um, even though I really like his overall design I do think that he's just not good enough I think just a change is running talents moving stuff around giving him more ways to like sustain himself in fight or uh, the the thing I really love doing for a lot of champions is give them a quest that reduces animation times. Because a lot of these champions are kind of diminished by their um, animations. Good example is um, Artanis really likes like hitting a lot of auto attacks, right? To reduce his shield, right? So he got to hit like a lot of auto attacks. That's kind of what he wants to do. But his Q has a really long animation. And his E travels way too slowly. Change those things with some of, like, just talents, maybe in, like, even late 13 and 16 talents. And he's already a better champion just by doing that. So, I do, I do, with, I do think it will make him too overpowered. So, maybe that's not necessarily something you want to do. But, um, I do like the idea of giving him, like, a more concrete rework. The way that it's going to work when, it, when I will make it is... I want to change a lot of these shield talents to be more spread out, so giving him more unique ways to sustain himself that are not, like, you see how these two talents, you can take both of them, so something like that. He does have a lot of ways to, to sustain himself in fight, but a lot of these are counterintuitive or something, uh, so I would like to spread a lot of the shield talents around, give him more. Uh, give him more ways to really heal in fight. I do want to make sure that it's in fight. So, like, one of the talent ideas I have is while he has a shield, he heals for a lot or has a cooldown reduction. I think that's already a thing. Uh, it's spell armor, right? This should be like probably just straight up armor, not necessarily spell armor. Uh, stuff like this, I think, really should make him more good. <laughs> and then, so, like, the shield talent is, like, much more to tank. And then he has, like, a Q talent build for, like, much more auto-attacking style. Right now, this he has, like, this two contradicting builds. One of them is, like, W build. One of them is an auto-attack build, even though they both should work really well together. These are, like... The W build should be the auto attack build, but it's kind of contradicting because you see this like there's like another hit, but it's a second cooldown longer. Uh, so this contradicts this talent, which contradicts the, um, this talent. I so uh, this contradicts this talent. You see, like the e, the auto attack build is kind of E related, but then like the W build is kind of weird related. So I would like to change a lot of the ways. Just move talents around and give him some new sustained talents. That's pretty much all that I really need to do to him. Uh, and then I need to think of how I want to handle the Q build. I think I'm removing Q build and making a, a, another E build. So like auto attack build, shield build, and E build would be the main builds. Or damage build, sustain build, and utility build, which might be a bit... Too much. I think the giving him utility might make him too much like a tank. So I'm not sure about this. This really is something that I need to think about over. 
So yeah, for now this is it. Sorry, this episode is all over the place. The Alarak one should come out soon. That one should be much more concrete. So.